Hello everyone. Welcome again to TATR 4K live safari experience at Taduba Andhari Tiger Reserve. We are back again on a warm summer morning. For your information, it hasn't rained since last Sunday and the temperature is slowly shooting up to 40 degrees Celsius. Today we are starting from the Kolara gate and we are moving towards the Jamni area and we'll be continuing towards Inbodi and Pandrapani. We are hoping to welcome the wilderness as it comes. So we can see a herd of female samba deer approaching the end body water hole and in the background you can listen to the melodious call of the oriental magpie robin. Oriental magpie robin are well known for their songs. They appear to use elements of their calls of other birds. Apart from their song, they use a range of calls including territorial calls, emergence and roosting calls and distress calls. We are now heading towards Tadoba Lake and uh, at a distance you can see a few 
langurs on the ground so this is one of the common sights seeing langurs on the road Here we have a beautiful peacock displaying. So this peacock might have seen any females around. And uh, yeah, you can see one of the females towards the left of the peacock. So he has decided to impress her with his dance. So here we have a Sambadia grazing and a cattle egret following the Sambadia. This is a special type of interaction that happens between two different species. It is called a symbiotic relation. So here the cattle egret is also trying to pick the ticks on the Sambadia. And as and when the Sambadia or any other herbivores walk in the grass, it causes a lot of disturbance and the insects hidden in the grass fly out. Because of that, these cattle egret also get their feed. The aerobatic display with the twists and turns that give the species its name, the Indian roller. In Hindi, it is called as Nilakant. When it is perched on a branch, it looks pretty, but when it is in flight, it's spectacular with beautiful blue wings. In India, the breeding season of these roller species is mainly in March to June. These birds are monogamous. They make nests in tree holes, rock crevices and also use abandoned woodpecker and owl's nest. Being such a charismatic species, Indian roller has been chosen as the state bird by the Indian states of Telangana, Karnataka and Odisha.
are Asian open bill stocks. They call so because of the distinctive gap in the bill. They are residents here in Tadoba and uh, they are seen breeding on an annual basis, usually between June and December. And during the monsoons, the breeding reaches its peak. Both parents are known to work together to build the nest using leaves, grasses, branches and twigs. Parents take turns during incubation as well as foraging to effectively defend their offspring from the predators. During nesting, they are also observed nesting in mixed colonies with other stock species and water birds such as the herons to establish safety in numbers. The parents are known to regurgitate the food for their chicks. These are large waders and they are often seen foraging very close to water bodies and also sometimes they are seen foraging in the shallow waters on the lookout for snails which is its primary diet. Here we see a brown fish owl, a resident of Panchadara. An owl's daily activity begins with preening, stretching, yawning and the interesting part is combing its head with its claws. Most owls are active at dusk and dawn, spending the daytime at a quiet and inconspicuous roost. They majorly feed on the fish and frogs and they can rotate their head up to 270 degrees. Usually brown fish owl will be seen near the water bodies in an elevated spot. They look at the prey and then dive. We have just heard an alarm call of a samba deer in this direction. We have a tiger coming at Panchadhara and it looks like T12. She's right behind that 
tall tree it looks like she was marking her territory she might have taken the hilltop road and might have come to panchadara and she's getting into the evergreen patch Most of the tourists who come to Tadoba would have seen Tigris T12 crossing and entering this evergreen patch. But we don't know where exactly she goes. And today is a very good opportunity for all of us to know where exactly she comes out from after entering that evergreen patch. And we would also like to show our viewers the ancient Tadoba temple. नमस्कार माझे नाव शीतल बंडू कुडमेते मी वनरक्षक या पदावर कार्यरत आहे आपण हा परिसर बघत आहे हा गोण गोण आदिवसीच्या तारू देवाचा देऊळ आहे आता हा तारू देव ह्या नावावरून ताडोबा परिसराचे नाव पडले आहे मग मग तारू म्हणजे कोण असा प्रश्न तुम्हाला पडला असेल म्हणतात की एकदा एका एकदा एक वरात इथून जात होते भर उन्हाळ्यात ती जात होती त्यांना तहान लागली तर नाल्यामध्ये त्यांनी खोदले तर पाणी एवढ्या भरपूर प्रमाणात निघाले की पूर्ण वरात बुडाले आणि त्या वरातील जो वरदे व नवरदेव होता तारू या नावावरून आपल्या ताडोबा व्याघ्र प्रकल्पाचे नाव ताडोबा पडले येथील शेतकऱ्यांचे असं म्हणणं आहे की ह्या तलावातील पाणी शेतामध्ये शिंपडल्यामुळे शेतातील रोगराई नष्ट होते आणि जे आजार व्यक्ती आहे त्यांना ते पाणी पाजल्यामुळे त्यांचा आजार दूर होतो वी आर नाव गोईंग अराउंड द तडोबा लेक We have a tiger coming and it looks like T12. At a distance the tiger is running. It seems like something has caught her eye. It looks like she is stalking.
there is a sounder of wild boar very close to her they have not sensed the presence of the tiger yet She has sat down in a place and the wild boar is busy digging something in the ground. She is getting as close as she can to the wild boars. The approximate distance could be about less than 20 feet. She's missed a chance. The wild boars have fled. She now comes back again.
she has sat down under a jamun tree and she has started to groom herself time for us to leave and now we will be heading back we are extremely honored and grateful for all the viewers who have been watching our live safari updates we are also thankful to everyone who are trying to reach us with your valuable feedback please like share and subscribe our youtube channel tatr 4k live for daily updates at 3 pm Stay safe and goodbye.